No, good morning, y'all. I'm just cooking some eggs for the fam. The fam, damn, thank you, ma'am. No. Hi, and I'm trying out this new Mountain Dew. Uh, it's a uh, major melon Mountain Dew. Interesting stuff. So. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Um, I don't drink a lot of soda, but I do drink some. So. I had a coffee in, at the moment, so... Yeah. What do you want, dog? What do you want, dog? You want to say hi? You yes, I love you, too. I'm a dog. Get out of my nuts, dude. Do that again, I'm going to kick in the ball skis. Pro skis. Um, sorry, trying to keep it VG on here. I know YouTube is very weird. Anyways, just the camera here, I'm going to cook up some eggs, bros. Bros and other peoples. No, you can wait to go out. Go lay down. Try me. Snip my balls again like that and I'll beat you down. Not literally, but I will tackle you. Stay out of my kitchen. Cook it. Damn. Damn dog. Damn dog. God bless it, dog. Okay. Let me get this. Hope you're all doing well this morning. Last couple of days I've been feeling kind of groggy and a little, little under the wire, but I'm feeling better today, thank goodness. You know, you, sometimes you have those days, especially with the weather change and, you know, everybody's worried about COVID, but I think a lot of it is weather change in our environment, you know? I think a lot of it is, uh, is explainable things. God bless it. Now, I don't think everybody that's sick has COVID. That's just my thought. You know, uh, there's weather change issues, and then there's, you know, allergy seasons in the summer, and, you know, and some things are just explainable, where others aren't, you know? COVID is, to me, in my book, is... Sorry, I'm trying to get you guys in a section where you can see me a little bit better. Apologize. But yeah, COVID in my book is explainable. It's not unexplainable. It's a virus. You know, we get one of those and it seems like every century back lesson. You know, uh, it really good. Uh, the only reason I keep on saying God blesses is uh, I was raised Christian. I mean, I, I'm sure that there's other beliefs out there. I think God is... Uh, is a multi-universe being. I mean, I count my blessings, you know. This year, this last year was crazy, and this year, the start of this year has been slowly getting better. I mean, and there was a time where I had to leave work yesterday. Um, I may have to have operation. I've never had surgery in my life, but it may happen to have, may have to happen eventually. Um, I got a hernia a couple of months ago. And uh, my insurance wouldn't cover it, but, you know, I have faith that things will work out. And things will be as they are meant to be. Um, yeah, I'm just hanging in there, pretty much. Uh, my plan is to join the Army, but we'll see how that goes. Let's see what either Mother Nature or the good Lord has in store for me and my family. I would, uh, I would hope the best for you all as well. I mean, the main thing is just don't don't let other people's bullshit. Excuse my French. Don't let other people's negative output or thoughts of you reflect who you are. You already know who you are. You already know what you like, what you dislike. Who cares what other people think? That's their prerogative. That's that's their uh, their thing. You know. I figure. You assume you, you let what people think of you get to you, you lose sight of what's right in front of you. You lose sight of the world. You know, there's so much world out there. 
so much to do, so much to see, so much to experience, you know. Nobody's ever perfect. God didn't make us that way. He made us imperfect so that we can learn what He's already learned. Conquer what He's already conquered. Overcome obstacles. Improvise. Change. Grow. You know, uh, I didn't really make this, want to make this a motivational video, but I got talking on it. And I thought I'd be saying things that are true. You know, it's... Life sucks, man. It really does. But it doesn't suck. As bad as most people make it suck. But by your choices, you make either life great or you make it suck. It's all choice, man. All choice. Choices you make reflect how your life will go. You know, may it be you're an airsofter and you love airsoft. I love airsoft. I have yet to been able to go to any fields, but I, I have a feeling it will happen this year. I, if the army's meant for me to be, then I will be in the army. If I'm meant to be a, a airsoft YouTuber or a, have my own business, that's my goal. Is have my own airsoft business. But uh, you know, I I don't know. I don't know what's gonna gonna happen in aspire in this new year, but I know it's a new year, it's a fresh start, I know it's a, uh, it's an eye-opener to, to what, what could happen, or what, you know, I don't know, it's, it, it's, it, it, it's new, that's the essence of a new year, I probably won't make any resolutions this year, because, I don't know, because, I don't want to. I don't want to make a promise to myself that I can't keep. You know, I. Uh, I definitely have always tried to do the best and right in my life, and I'm still trying to do that. And I still love my family and my kiddos. And I'm doing YouTube videos. Wife's looking like crazy, guys. But yeah, I'm just cooking some eggs this morning. I just cracked them all. These beautiful stack of shells. I'm gonna whisk them up. Add a little bit of milk or water, some salt and pepper. Get them on the stove. I'm gonna add some cheese. I got some Great Value Colby Monterey Jack cheese. I got my eggs in this container here. You can see the eggs. You can see them in there. The yolks. And I'm going to go ahead and add me some salt and pepper. Good job, Dash of both. Sometimes I make trees on the eggs. I really like that. I really like to cook. I really love to cook. But with COVID going on, nobody's restaurants are all closed down and whatnot. But man, if I could make a... Get my own airsoft business, but I also have a have a be like half or not not a half restaurant, but like have a little restaurant in there. That dude, that would be epic. I mean, cause airsoft just gotta eat. People gotta eat. You know, I really like soda, but I stay fit enough that I don't have to worry about diabetes. Thank God. I was borderline a couple years ago. I was a uh, uh, crazy story. I right after we had our son. I was like 277 pounds. I, I'm weighing 203 as of this morning. But I was 277 pounds. This is motivation right here for anybody that's struggling with being overweight and not having enough energy or just just needing that, that push, you know, that push, that jump to go, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get my mindset to it and I'm going to go fucking do it. Um, I was 277 pounds and I dropped from 277. I had quit soda for a long while. I still drink it occasionally. I drink a can, two a day, you know, nothing crazy, not like the five two liters I was doing when I was a teenager. But, uh, but yeah, motivation for you. I was 277 pounds. I dropped down to 233, and I was at 233. Mouse yeah, um, mouse by the way, uh, that's the code word. Um, 
But yeah, I was uh, 233 for the longest time, and I couldn't break that 233. I got down to like 220, then I hopped back up to 227, 233. And, uh, you know, I got I got motivation for joining the Army this year. And I dropped from 233, I am 203 right now. I bust my ass. I started running. Started working out every day. Doing my push-ups. Doing my sit-ups. Doing squats and lunges. Doing uh, crunches every single day. Uh, I haven't done it as much lately. Only because I'm healing. I'm trying to get this hernia. I know it's not going to heal on its own. I'm going to have to have surgery eventually. But my insurance, uh, my insurance won't uh, cover it. So, uh, I didn't really hope that my subscribers would you know, at least send positive waves and pray for me on that aspect so that I get this shit done. Um, last time I went in there, they put in a, uh, they put in a paperwork to have it uh, turned over so that they could they could override my insurance to get it done, and they denied my claim, which sucks. You know, sometimes life sucks like that. You don't get things that you actually need when you need them, but I'm sure it will happen. I have faith in it, so... Um, yeah, let's get these eggs cooking though. I didn't even turn on the burner yet. Actually, I'm going to use the whisk this time. If I can find it. Normally, I just use a fork. We're out of forks. Got a spichita. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I've done another couple. Another couple of uh, cooking videos, and uh, y'all seem to like them, so I figure I'll do one this morning. I'm cooking eggs for my kiddos and my niece and me, so. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to blow my nose. And I wash my hands. Again. Oh, shit. I'm smoking, guys. some stuff on the burner. There we go. That should work. I hope. Probably need to replace these burner heads eventually. We use them a lot. We cook a lot. We try to cook a lot, rather. Here, I'll just use this. He's a baby. I'm watching Mouse Couture's over there. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, right? Fuck it off, bro. You gotta sweet talk things. I don't know. Something about positivity works sometimes. Even though they're, they're items that can't listen, I, I'm a weirdo like that. I don't know. Sometimes just putting positive into what you're doing is, uh, is a good thing, that way it, it actually works for you. Um, just having a positive outlook in life. But yeah, like I said, I was 233, I got down to, uh, I'm 203 now. So yeah, just, just work, guys, and, and drink a lot of water. Eat normal, eat when you're hungry, not when you're not hungry. Like if you're, if you're a gamer and you're, I play video games too, and I find myself doing this. But, uh, if you're, if you're hungry, eat. eat. Eat a small portion at night. I mean, they say don't eat after 10 p.m. But I mean, I figure if you're hungry, have something healthy. Have some some uh, grapes or have some strawberries. Have something that's going to break down easily in your body when you go to bed. If you have a whole thing of like ramen noodles before bed, it's going to sit there and it's going to make it fast. And it's not going to break down. You know, but if you have like a small portion of, I don't know, like like grapes, or hummus and chips, a small thing of that. I love hummus, dude, man. Mm -mm. She's good, my veins are popping out. Yeah. That good circulation, I guess. 31 years of age. Man, I figure out if I keep it up, I'll be freaking hell of it by, the way, by my 50s. 31 now, 50s half a century old. And I think I'll be around a while. What do you guys think? 
Leave that in the comments. Think I'll be here for a little while longer? I think so. I think so. I think sometimes I get more in my head than I do my... Dude, you know, I get worried and I shouldn't worry. As a Christian, you shouldn't shouldn't question it. God's got you back always, you know. I mean, I think there's powers that be out there or abilities that people have through whatever circumstances. I think sometimes I have some too. You know, I don't... I don't know. But, uh, you know, I was, uh, I was raised on a farm out in Lacombe, Oregon, here in Oregon. And, uh, you know, I was up before the sun each day going feeding animals, and they really taught me some, some life lessons, really. Um, some obnuitance, you know, to learn, learn really quickly that things gotta get done, and they gotta get done early. I would feed the rabbits and the chickens and, uh, you know, life's been really good to me. I mean, I've had more many faults in life, but, uh, I can honestly say that, uh, I've had a good life so far. Here, let's get you guys down here see see what I'm doing. There's the eggs I can cook it. Well, now you can see me better, but you can't see the eggs I'm cooking, but that's all right. I hope you all are doing good. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. This new year is starting out really good. And, you know, I, I don't do these videos because I'm trying to get rich. It's not my thing. I, I probably never will be a super rich man. Maybe. Maybe by a little luck. I will, uh, I won't. I have the money that I need to do with, with what I want. Um, but it takes hard work, man. It takes hard work. Hard work forever pays in my book. I've always tried to do the best job that I could possibly do on any of the jobs I've ever worked in my life. A hard worker. You know, I just... Hey, keep your head down and do your job. Follow orders or follow direction. But you're really going to look at it. You want to look at it from a military, military standpoint or just good old fashioned listening. I don't know, I'm a, I, you know, I think in some ways I'm a leader myself. I've, I've been told you're a born leader. You're supposed to lead people. And I do. You know, my, my bosses at work, they see that. Normally when I'm working with a buddy at work, we work in pairs most of the time. You know, maybe female or male, whatever. I always try to, you know, direct them what I would do. They ask me a question. And people, people, for some reason, hi, babe, you're on camera. Good morning. That's my wife, y'all. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, uh, they, they come to me for direction instead of going to my boss, so. And it's always been like that. I don't know why. They just like, hey John, what what should we do next? Well, what hasn't been done yet? We got all the carts in, right? When I was a stockman, they'd do this constantly. Instead of walking in for a CSM, ask me what to do. Cause I was this, I was the second senior man on the table. You know, there at work, I I was second senior. Another gentleman named Anthony was. Uh, was the senior man, but he was just tired of it. He worked there for like seven years. And you could tell he was just burnt out of teaching kids how to do things. <laughs> yeah, he's just tired of it. So I was I was the senior point man, I guess you'd say, in army terms, uh, at work. And every time we got a new guy, I'd be the one to train, her. I'd train him. I was the trainer uh, from then on out. And second senior dude there, along with a couple other guys that had been there a while, um, but yeah, constantly people are like, hey, you may not work nowadays, I mean, there's, there's a couple people that, they don't, they don't need to take direction from me, they already know, that they, they're already giving me direction, so, you gotta be willing to, even if you're a leader, you gotta be willing to listen, and, you, you gotta be able to take input and give input. 
to be able to uh, do that. Um, but yeah, most of the time when I'm working with somebody, it's uh, they, they listen. You know, I'm like, okay, hey, we're gonna go. We're gonna. I'm gonna go this side. You go that side. We'll double team it. We'll meet in the middle. And, and they just say, okay. Most of the time, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm an old ass mother trucker. And I ain't that old. I'm 31, but a lot of people see me as younger. I look younger than 31. But my personality, I guess, seems older. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I've been around a little while. I don't know how or why or what. Or when, but I feel like sometimes I've been, I've been uh, around. You know, we'll come COVID hit, I was like, maybe for a month I was freaking out. I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And then I realized, okay, I have to wear a mask at work. There's not much I can do about this. I can't just snap my fingers and overnight COVID's gone. Snap my fingers and overnight poverty is gone. Snap my fingers and overnight people breaking the law is gone. You know, I can't just, hey. Not get out of the truckers. Snap my fingers and all the sins of America and the world are washed away. No. I, I don't have that power. Only God has that power. Only God you can... You can ask for forgiveness from other people. And definitely from Him. But, you know, the only way anybody... We were always taught the only way that anybody gets forgiveness is if, we, if you're with the Son. To get to the Father. You, know, you gotta come to the Son first to reach the Father. But uh, lately I've been feeling like the rules have changed with God. Not, not more, not per se changed, but it's different. It feels different. You got the Spirit with you, you feel different about things. Maybe I'm just talking through. But, uh, yeah, just about done with these eggs, though. They look good. I'm probably going to end this video because they're about done, but I'm going to show you the eggs really quick and see what you guys think. Comment if you like them, if you like these videos. And the people that aren't subscribed, please subscribe already. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's my eggs. Easy eggs. Mm -mm. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to get these plates served up and we will see you all in the next video. Say bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye bye. bye. Say bye, Ruben. Alright, guys. Thank you all for subscribing, watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down here. Hit the bell notification so you know when I'm uploading. And always comment. And I don't get many of those anymore. But hey, peace out. I'll be doing hopefully another upload here soon of uh, me shooting an M4. Woo!